everybody. In this video, we're going to be working on maths.3.0a.1.2, which means that we will be interpreting whole number quotients of whole numbers. For example, if you have 56 divided by 8, you'll know that that's 56 objects divided into 8 groups or with 8 things in each. So let me teach you. All right, so we have example 1. It says write a division equation for the picture. Um, and I want to point out the item type down here. The item type is equation editor. Not to be confused with open response. Equation editor is just you plugging in the answer to the question. And make sure nothing goes in this box except for your, that's right, your answer. All right, so let's get to it. Um, so we have, I think I already said that. Let's get to it. How about one more time? Let's get to it. <laughs> All right, so we have some flowers that are planted, all right? So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five, and five. Okay, but it's asking me to write a division equation. Okay, an equation has an equal sign. An expression does not. So for example, um, 10 divided by 2 equals 5. That would be an equation because it has an equal sign, whereas 10 divided by 2 without the equal sign would just be an expression. All right, so there's just a quick tidbit for you. Um, let's move on, though. So I need to write a division equation. So I need my total first, which would be 5, 10, 15. 15 divided into... Um, I actually have two answer choices for this. I could do 15 divided by 5 flowers, meaning putting 5 in each group would give me 3 groups. Or I could do 15 flowers divided into 3 groups would be 5 in each. So either one of these could go into my box. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to write 15 divided by 3 equals 5. Again, notice how nothing went into the box except for my equation, my answer. So I'm plugging myself into the problem again. Um, again, comment below and maybe I will use your name in an upcoming problem to shout out to you. So here we go. Uh, it says Miss McCarthy has 12 apples, 12 apples, and 6 bags. She places an equal number of apples in each bag. Draw circles to show how many apples are in each bag. So the directions are telling me to draw circles into there. This is a grid item. I think that stands for graphic response something. I'll put the actual name of it in the description box. Um, but basically, it means that you would have to take you'd have to draw a picture or it has some kind of graphic involved with it. So you're not answering multiple choice, you're not doing multi-select, it's not going into a table, it's not an equation, you're having to somehow do something. So that's what we're going to do. Um, that's really bugging me. It'll be in the description box. I'm having a blank moment. Um, so we have 12 apples and 6 bags. I'm going to put an equal number of apples into the bag. So if I have 12 apples, I'm going to divide them out. So I'm going to put one here. Two, three, four, five, six, keep going because I need to have 12 apples, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right, so we are on example three for this one. So it says which situation can be represented by ten divided by two? Let's just do really, I guess I don't have to do cubes because it's not really a word problem. Um, but I will say I'm looking for a situation that can be represented by 10 divided by 2. So I'm going to at least do that. Helps me break it down. So 10 divided by 2 would be 10 things total divided into either two groups, taking 10 things and then putting them into two groups, or two like I like to call tie, two things in each. So putting two things in each and considering that to be a group. Let me draw out 
So we're looking for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're looking for either this or this. All right. <clears throat> so we have ten baskets of bananas with two in each group. Well, guys, that would be ten times two. We're looking for 10 divided by two, so that is not right. 10 monkeys, I'm sorry, bleh, 10 bananas, and a monkey eats two bananas. So we have 10 bananas, and then a monkey comes along and eats two. It means he's taking two away. We're looking for 10 divided by two, not 10 minus two. All right, C. 10 bananas, and a monkey gives two more bananas. So we've got 10 bananas and then a monkey comes by, like monkeys always do, and gives you two more bananas. That would be 10 plus 2. We're looking again for 10 divided by 2. So sometimes kids will just go to this one right away, but let's make sure. 10 bananas. Split. Ooh, that's a good key word for division. Split among two monkey. So this would be this guy right here, monkey one and monkey two, each would get five. So that would be our answer. D. Buddy, we're on example number five. It's a two-part question and it is open response. Again, I want to point out only your, that's right, only your answer goes inside the boxes. All of your work has to go outside. So somewhere else, get notebook paper or something. All right, ooh, we got some fish. Ooh. Suppose there are four tanks, one, two, three, four tanks, and three fish in each tank. Describe what is meant by the situation 12 divided by three equals four. Um, so I've got 12 divided by 3 equals 4. This is not my answer. It's just me showing my thinking out here. I know that 12 when I'm dividing is my total. So I have 12 total fish. And there are 1, 2, 3 in each tie. 3 fish in each. I could do 5, but I'm going to say things. 3 things in each to stay consistent. And the other part would be, the other factor would be my group. So, what is meant by this? Here is what is meant by this situation. There are 12 fish total with 3 fish in each tank. Therefore, that's me being fancy. I'm so fancy. You already know. Therefore, there are, are four tanks. Boom. All right, so there's that one. Now I've got part B. Describe what is meant by the situation 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Well, in this case, we've got 12 total. We've got four tanks, that would be my group, and there are three things in each. Three fish in each. Three five, three tie, whatever. So capital T, there are 12 fish total divided, I sound like a robot, <laughs> into four tanks with three fish in each. Boom. All right, y'all, so before you go, let me leave you with an inspirational thought. This is a shout out to Miss Webley, someone who believed in me when I first started teaching. So this is something that she would always say. Shoot for the moon, and even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. And that is from Les Brown. He's a great guy. Um, so yeah. There we go. Love you, Miss Webley.